Simulation theory, another topic for normies to use as small talk on a Friday night, even though the idea that our reality may be a simulation has ancient philosophical roots. Plato's allegory of the cave suggests that our perceived reality is an illusion, merely shadows on a wall. In the 17th century, René Descartes argued that an evil demon could be deceiving us into believing in a false reality. If many civilizations develop computers capable of simulating consciousness, there would be a vast overabundance of simulated conscious beings compared to real ones. This suggests that the likelihood of our existence being a simulation is very high. This is the latest, most popular argument coming from the philosopher Nick Bostrom. He does not directly argue that we truly live in a simulation, but argues that one out of three is almost certainly true. If a civilization reaches a post-human stage, they'd have immense computing power and they could run countless simulations of their evolutionary history. Statistically, simulated realities would vastly outnumber base realities. And odds are, we're in one of those simulations. Some argue our universe's laws seem suspiciously designed for computation, but the entire argument asserts that the fundamental principles of physics can be replicated using alternative methods. It's important to note that currently, no one has been able to fully reproduce general relativity using a computer algorithm running on any type of machine, and we can only approximate it. This theory gained more attention in recent years due to advancements in VR tech, making it easier to imagine the possibility of a simulated reality and spoon-feeding it at every street corner. Others state that the whole thing is unfalsifiable pseudoscience, while some hope that we might find glitches or limits in our reality's resolution, like finding the pixels in our cosmic screen. It is also important to remember that both simulation theory and monotheistic religions posit unseen, godlike beings that create and control our reality, offering comfort and existential purpose, and have been influential forces in human culture for centuries. Thank you for watching, and I will simulate myself into the next one.